buddy. It's been a while. So I'll just start slow. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hello, my brothers and sisters, by God, this is your brother in Christ, Abstraction Itzel, here with another video, and I'm very excited to make this video because I will be breaking down the Ben 10 vs. the Universe official movie trailer, um, and, uh, basically that trailer came out two days ago, it's, uh, Saturday right now, uh, and, uh, basically, uh, a lot of stuff is in it. The movie, the trailer was better than I thought it would be. The movie seems like it's going to be a lot better than I thought it would be. And I'm very excited for the movie. So, uh, I'm going to break it down and I'm going to talk about what I know will be in the movie. And what I, uh, and a few speculations of what might be in the movie. And of course, what will happen after the movie. So, uh, first off, the trailer starts off with an end of the world threat. So we don't really know exactly what it is. We just know that the world's in trouble. Ben uh, needs to save the day again. And uh, Phil puts the Omninot key inside. Uh, we don't know if Phil made this key or if it's uh, from uh, Azimuth because the Omnikix key was from Azimuth. And it, and it was na near the burial site of. Er, no, sorry. It was near the site where Ben found the Omnitrix. So, uh, we are not too sure exactly where this came from, but we know that this Omni-Knot key gives Ben the space armor that he needs, uh, that will help in this, uh, movie. Then, uh, Ben turns into Jet Ray, Armored Jet Ray, um, but he goes into space, and then he flies into a portal. The omni Knot's key, uh, makes Ben's Omnitrix transform him into the or it makes the the key makes Ben uh, get covered in spacesuit armor. Uh, then he gets abducted by the incursions, and he's fighting the incursions. Uh, later, it shows him fighting Tetrax. Then we see an Opticoid. We also see a Laboan, and we see a Return of the Scare, and we also see a Pixis Bolan. That uh, we've also seen, and it's the same one that we saw in the original series and in Omniverse. And uh, we see Azmuth, he seems to be scolding Ben. Uh, we see the Galvanic Mechamorphs covering the Earth. And we see a return of Vilgax. Okay, Vilgax, coming back. If you don't remember, uh, in Season 2, uh, the final episode of Season 2, um, in Intervasion, Vilgax got sent to the Null Void by Ben. Uh, so, yeah. I am guessing he's not going to be too happy to see Ben again. Um, and then uh, we see that Vilgax is back on Earth. He sets the city on fire. Um, he gains some extremely powerful powers that look like kind of star. Like, he, he, he becomes dark with red stars all over his body. And then we see Ben use way big again. So... That's a lot to cover. Now, uh, I'm just going to go through each of these one by one and talk about what we know for sure will happen. So, we know that Ben will get the omni Knot armor, and I'm guessing, and I I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to keep it. So, I'm gu I I'm guessing, like, Season 4 is Omni-Kick, Season 5 is going to have omni Knot armor, because Ben's not just going to use this for the movie, which means that... Ben might go to space in Season 5 quite a bit, which makes sense because Season 5 is going to consist of a lot of multi-part episodes. So, uh, Ben going to space in Season 5, that could be that could mean that Ben might visit other planets, like he might uh, visit some of his aliens' home planets, who knows. But uh, we just know that Ben has omni Knot now after this movie. Um, the incursions are somehow involved. I don't understand. I'm not too sure about the correlation between the Incursions, Tetrax, uh, the Scare, and the Vilgax. But, uh, we, I know that Tetrax is the bounty hunter, so he'll go wherever the money is. So, uh, if, the, if that means that he needs to stop Vilgax, then he'll, he'll do that. If, he, if that means he needs to help Vilgax, he'll do that. Whatever the money will, uh, get him, get him to, that's what, that's what he'll do. So, yeah. Uh, then we see an Opticoid. Okay, so we see, uh... Opticoid, which is Eye Guy's species, and he surprisingly looks exactly like Eye Guy did in the original series, which is impressive to me. Um, but, uh, I, I will dive back into that later. We also see a Laboan, 
and Zaskir. So I'm, I'm guessing that Zaskir will have his uh, Halloween trio. It seems like Zaskir was trapped in the Null Void, and Ben. we see that Ben is in the Null Void in some parts of this trailer. So I'm, I'm guessing that Zaskir, Ben is going to meet Zaskir in the Null Void. Um... And as well as those other aliens, because that's where, uh, that's where those, uh, other aliens were. The Opticoid and the Leboan and the Scare. Um, and that's also where Vilgax is. So that's, that explains where, how Ben will meet Vilgax. Now, um, oh yeah, and the Pixis Volan, Pixis Volan as well. Um, we also see Azmuth, and then we see the Galvanic Mechamorphs covering the Earth. We're not too sure about that, uh, I, I don't know if they're, if, if they're just covering the Earth to try to take it over, or if someone like Vilgax is using them to take over the Earth, like controlling them or something like that, not really sure. Um, but we know that Vilgax somehow escapes from the Null Void, and is ready to get revenge on Ben, um, and then somehow gains some extremely powerful powers, and Ben turns into way big. Uh, now, about the Opticoid, I know for sure that Ben is going to turn into Eye Guy. When we look at the picture of the DNA pods that we uh, got, the only aliens that are on there that haven't been used are Wild Mutt, Eye Guy, and Ripjaws, because uh, the Wild Mutt one has quills on it. What, what, what other aliens have quills? Eye Guy, obviously, the eyes, and then uh, Ripjaws, the whites, the white and then the blackness, uh, the black stripes, it just kind of looks like Rip Jaws. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's, it must be Wild, Wild Mutt's Eye Guy and Rip Jaws. Um, not sure if Wild Mutt will look like a humanoid or uh, a beast. Perhaps he might just be that one alien that is um, not humanoid, which would be good. Will Ben turn into a Laboan? Not sure. Will he turn into Ghost Freak? Not sure. Uh, we don't know if he'll get these two aliens. Anything could happen, because we didn't see Waybig on here, but Ben turned into Waybig. So for all we know, Ben could get every single one of those aliens. He could just scan them all and get get access to all the aliens. Um, so that is one possibility, and that is what a lot of fans are speculating. So yeah, that's what a lot of fans are speculating. Now, if Ben gets these aliens, since Ben has 10 pods, which ones are they going to replace? Because... If Ben is going to have omni -Knot armor that allows him to go to space, then Waybig is probably going to be an important part of Season 5 as well. I don't think that Waybig is just going to be a one-movie, one-time thing. I think that he's going to be in Season 5. Now, uh, that means that some aliens have to get replaced. Which ones? Not too sure. Um, because the only ones that haven't gotten replaced yet are Cannonbolt, Diamond Head, Four Arms, Heat Blast, and Accelerate. And those are the top popular aliens in the Ben 10 reboots. So, would they replace the popular aliens? Well, I don't see them replacing the new aliens. Um, I don't. I definitely don't see them replacing Humongousaur. Maybe they'll replace Shockrock, but I don't know because Shockrock is a pretty favorite fan favorite alien as well, um, and he is a new alien too. But they did replace Overflow, and he was also a new alien, so who knows. For all we know, all ten of these aliens could get replaced. We don't really know. Um, all we know is that... Um, all we know for sure is that Ben will get these new aliens. Um, he could pro possibly get Master Control, which would cycle out uh, between pods in the, in the loaded chamber and the pods that are, like, not in the loaded chamber, if you know what I'm saying. Um, we're not too sure, um, this is, this is the speculation portion of the video. All we know for sure is that Eye Guy and Rip Jaws will, uh, come from this movie, and probably Wildsma as well, though we have not seen any Vulpamancer in this trailer. Uh, but, this is only a two minute trailer, and, uh, who knows how long the movie is, we don't even know when the movie, what, what date the movie is coming out, all we know is that it's coming out in the fall. And it could come out uh, and be like two hours, three hours, we don't even know. It could be the longest Ben 10 movie that we have ever seen, and we wouldn't really know. 
because uh, we don't know how long the movie is going to be. It could be, an, it's definitely going to be at least an hour, um, but possibly two hours. Um, or, or an hour and 30, someone, somewhere between one and two hours. So, in this two minute trailer, they can only show so much. Um, this, this, this could have just only scratched the surface for all, surface for all we know. So, yeah. Um... I don't see Ben getting permanent master control. I, I I could definitely see Ben getting a quick change feature from this movie, but I'm still not too sure about that. Because even 11-year-old Ben in Omniverse didn't have the quick change feature. It wasn't until Alien Force when Ben got that um, stuff figured out. So, not too sure. And then... Uh, With the whole Vilgax thing, a lot of people are speculating that uh, Vilgax absorbed Celestial Sapien DNA and uh, became uh, literally uh, unstoppable. That is a possibility, but I kind of doubt it. Just because if Vilgax absorbs Celestial Sapien DNA and has the powers of Alien X, he, he can literally just destroy Ben. He wouldn't even need the Omnitrix anymore. He would have all the powers he would need. And I don't see how he could absorb Celestial Sapien DNA. Unless he tried to pull off that Aggregor type thing in Ultimate Alien where he would absorb a baby's powers. But Vilgex doesn't really just absorb DNA. He kind of... Except in Ultimate Alien when he uh, used that machine to absorb uh, Dagon's powers. Um... I don't see that happening with the Celestial Sapien, especially that would that would literally make him unstoppable. He he would he would just be able to destroy Ben immediately. So I don't think that that would happen. I'm not too sure where he gets those um, powers from. He seems to he looks very similar to Vilgax when he did absorb the Dagon. Um, if you look at the the uh, flyer, the the banner for the movie. So uh, I don't know. But I do know that, I don't think that he absorbed the Celestial Sapien DNA. Um, I just don't see that being possible. It, it w even Waybig wouldn't e even be able to stop him if that happened. And we know that Waybig is going to have to come in and save the day. We're not too sure if Waybig does save the day for sure, but Waybig with omni -Dot armor, I don't know. Like, that would probably be really powerful. Because Waybig himself is already powerful. He's got the cosmic... He's got the cosmic beams, he's got the huge size, uh, advantage, um, strong, fast, flexible, maybe not fast, but, uh, flexible. I don't, I don't know what omni not way big would look like. I mean, he'd probably have some more powerful beams, probably have more powerful stuff on him. Uh, but omni not seems, from what I can see right here, it looks like it's just as indestructible as the omni kicks armor. The only difference is that it can uh, be used in space, unlike the Omni Kicks on it. So, um, not too sure how Vilgax gets those powers, how he becomes so unstoppable. But, uh, yeah. Now, some people are like, oh, I, Albedo, Al Albedo is gonna be in this movie. Albedo's not gonna be in the Ruvid at all. So, uh, if you, if you watch the Benson K Club video, those are fake videos. Albedo's not gonna be in the, in the Benson reboot. So, so don't. Don't, uh, don't get fooled. Um, now, uh, okay, and now also people are, uh, speculating that this, uh, yellow glowing Omnitrix is Ben scanning DNA. Yeah, I think this is just how the Omnitrix looks. I don't think Ben is going to need to scan Guy and, uh, those other aliens. I think that they're already in the Omnitrix and Ben's just gonna have to have them, have them unlocked. Probably Azimuth unlocks them. Um... Definitely Azimuth unlocks way big, because I don't think that Ben would just do that on his own. So, um, yeah, I think that Azimuth is going to help Ben by unlocking way big, similar to how he did it in Secret of the Omnitrix. But this movie is not going to be like Secret of the Omnitrix. According to Duncan Rollo, um, one of the co-creators of uh, Ben 10, he, uh, he said that it's not going to just be the same as Secret of the Omnitrix. It's going to be a completely different story and everything. So, uh, yeah. But I I'm guessing Azimuth will unlock way big and maybe those other aliens as well. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure which aliens will get replaced. Um, I, 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 it's really debatable because would they, would they, I mean, they haven't replaced the popular aliens, but would they 
replace the popular aliens? I mean, I, I, when you think about it, would you rather have way big or forearms? I mean, I, it's kind of obvious you would rather have way big, you know? Um, so I, I could see it. I could see them getting swapped. Um, it's, I, it's less likely for them to swap the new guys, because... Especially Shotgun, because Shotgun's a fan favorite, so I don't know. Um, and Humongous is pretty popular as well. And Wrath. The uh, Slapback, I'm not too sure how popular he is, um, but Slapback's only been here for one season as well, so I just don't, I just don't see them taking out the new aliens, but... And, and the older aliens that are popular, I, I see them getting... I, I see them replacing other ones. I mean, we already have a fast alien. We have Jet Race, so we don't really need Accelerate now. Um, unless Ben needs to do stuff super fast. But if we need some super speed, we have Jet Race. Um, so I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, about the whole Vilgax Alien X thing. If... Vilgax does have Alien X powers, and he absorbs a Celestial Sapien. The only way that Ben can beat him is if Ben also transforms into a Celestial Sapien. So it could be possible that Azmuth unlocks Alien X just for once for Ben to use, or Ben just unlocks him that one time, uh, or he or he keeps Alien X but just doesn't use him. But I don't know about that. But uh, for Alien X, the only way that Ben could beat a Celestial Sapien Vilgax, is if Ben turns into a Celestial Sapien. Um, so I don't know about that. And if he does turn into a Celestial Sapien, it's not going to be something he turns into very often. It's probably just going to happen in this movie and not happen again. Or maybe it'll happen in this movie and happen one other time in like the Season 5 finale or something like that. Um, because who knows, if this is just... What, the, what they're doing before Season 5, who knows what's going to happen during Season 5. But, um, that's the only way I think that Ben would be able to stop Vilgax, if Vilgax absorbed Celestial Sapien DNA. But I just don't see, but I just don't see, um, Azmuth just letting Ben use Alien X and, uh, keeping him, you know, a 10-year-old with control over the universe? I don't know about that, you know? <laughs> uh... Ben's a little too immature, and what if he accidentally turns into Alien X when he's, like, trying to, I don't know, <laughs> open a pickle drawer or something, you know? <laughs> Imagine how awkward that would be to explain to Serena and Bellicus, you know? So, you know. Another thing that some fans are speculating is that Ben will unlock Clockwork and Goop in the movie. Um, I don't think so. Uh, because once again, Clockwork is very powerful, and I don't think Ben, a 10-year-old Ben with time powers is very, uh, very good of an idea. Um, and Goop, uh, I just don't know, maybe. It's possible, Goop isn't, like, uh, he isn't, like, extremely powerful, but, uh, I still don't know about that. Uh, you never know, though. Uh, the reason that people were speculating this is because that, uh, apparently some, uh, Goop and Clockwork were featured on the Cartoon Network kitchen wall, where, uh, the crew drew, uh, different characters in the show, and Clockwork and Jet Ray were one of those characters. Or, sorry, Clockwork and Goop and Jet Ray, too, were one of those characters. And Jet Ray's the only one that showed up, but they, they actually needed Jet Ray, because because, you know, it's a space mission, and Jet Ray is super fast and can fly through hyperspace, so, like, it kind of, like, it's he's a necessary character for this movie, or necessary alien for this movie. Uh, Clockwork would just be too powerful, so, once again, if they do have Clockwork, which I, I just don't think, I just don't see it happening, but if they do have him, it's probably going to be a one-time thing. Um, in Omniverse, 11 year olds Ben had him for one time as well. Uh, because, just to stop Eon, and then, then that's it. One of the artists for the Benson reboot drew Gwen with powers one time. Gwen with Anodite powers, and it, it turned out that was just for fun. Uh, Gwen's actually not going to have Anodite powers in the reboots. They're uh, going to do something different with her. Um, oh, and speaking of uh, Gwen having powers, uh, I, I think this is the perfect opportunity. The perfect opportunity for Max to reveal that he's a plumber, you know? Uh, cause it's pretty obvious that Max is a plumber, they've been foreshadowing it 
even since season one, they've been foreshadowing it with the whole alien rust bucket thing, the, uh, Grandpa Max knowing how to fight, you know, knowing about aliens. And then uh, as the season progressed, uh, it shows Grandpa Max uh, knowing how to hack stuff, um, knowing, uh, and, and, and even in a flashback, uh, or even in season three when Ben travels back in time, uh, it shows Grandpa Max and uh, Phil doing alien-related stuff. So, you know, if, if there's a lot of foreshadowing going on with Max being a plumber. And this could be the movie where we reveal that Max is a... Where it is revealed that Max is a plumber. And Phil as well, of course. Um, but who knows? But I, I think this would be the perfect opportunity because it's a whole space mission, you know? Also, one thing I forgot to mention about Ripjaws is... Uh, the Ripjaws prisoner, or the, the Ripjaws, uh, Null Void dude, he has, like, some water things around his neck that, uh, help him breathe. And, uh, hopefully if Ben unlocks Ripjaws, he can get that, so that way he doesn't have to struggle when he's not in water all the time, like he did in the original series. In Omniverse, he kind of adjusted, and he didn't, he could stay out of water for longer periods of time because he's older and he he can handle he can handle not being in water for a longer period of time since he's older but um you know in the original series 10 year olds rip jaws struggled a lot because of not being around water so it'd be very nice if ben could get that too oh and also one thing i forgot to cover is that uh ben will uh team up with kevin again in this uh in this uh little special right here um, and also, there's this little scene that look that seems to have a uh, some kind of galvanic mechamorph armor, or it could possibly be Glitch Ben. We're not really sure, but we know that it has something to do with upgrade. It could be a random galvanic mechamorph that's helping Ben as well, but we don't really know. Uh, you know, someone asked uh, if it spoiled if the trailer spoiled too much and. Duncan said that so much more is coming, so, you know, that just shows that this trailer hasn't even scratched the surface. So, I think I got through everything that I wanted to talk about, and if I didn't, I'll add some stuff in the description. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got through all the speculation, um, and the, the facts, um, essentially, conclusion, uh, main points. Uh, I guy will come. Uh, ben will unlock I guy, way big, and rip jobs, and possibly wild ones. Um, we will see Vilgax, Saskayer, and some null void aliens with him. The incursions and Kevin. Ben will team up with Kevin, and uh, the galvanic mechamorphs will be taking over the earth. That's uh, what we know so far. And we know that the Earth is in trouble. That could probably be what the threat is. But yeah, and we also know that Tetrax is fighting Ben in it as well. And we know that Ben unlocks the Omninaut armor and uh, has space armor for each of his aliens. That's what we know for sure. So those are the main points. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what your theories are. Let me know what your speculations are. I am curious to see what you guys think, and don't forget that uh, to like, subscribe, uh, comment, and share this video around. All the